Welcome to English Without Borders. Uh, we are so happy to see all of you, dear speakers, and we are uh, going to start our webinar. So dear audience, please join us as soon as possible. Uh, so today we are very excited to introduce our Fulbright uh, current finalist and also alumni. And today we have uh, Sitora Kasimba, who is representing US Embassy uh, in Tajikistan. Uh, we have Manisha Dalatva, who is a, a Fulbright alumni, Fulbright FLT alumni, and also we have Malikara Jabova and um, Mirza Sharif Sharifov, who are currently Fulbright finalists, and they are joining us from the United States. So uh, thank you for joining. We know it's very early in the United States, and we are right now here in Tajikistan. We are uh, uh, in, late in the afternoon. So anyway, we are so excited to host all of you. And uh, today, the purpose of our webinar is to give the first-hand experience from our speakers and introduce Fulbright FLTA program, which is an exciting program for mid-career professionals to join, to become next uh, alumni of this program, and also to boost uh, their career as well as professional development through this program. And uh, with great pleasure, I'm giving the floor to Sitora Kasimova, and she will be giving an overview uh, of what is Fulbright program and who can uh, apply to this program. Uh, Sitora, over to you. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sitora Kasimova, and um, I work at the U.S. Embassy Public Diplomacy Section overseeing a Fulbright Foreign Language Teaching Assistant pro Program. So today uh, we are joined by our wonderful uh, FLTA current participants in the U.S., Malika Rajabova and Mirza Sharif, and also uh, by our one of the most active alumni, Manija Dalatva. So, and, and thank you, dear audience, for being with us today and um, devoting your time and your interest in this program. So, um, uh, do you see the full screen? Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead uh, and uh, start talking about it. One second. Minimized. Okay, what about now? It's good, Sitora, it's full screen, it is visible, you can start. Okay, great, great. Um, so, um, uh, Fulbright Foreign Language Teaching Assistant Program is fully funded by the US government. And uh, the goal is to, uh, and the goal is to, uh, one second, I'm the, I have like technical problems, one second. Mm
and the goal is to um, bring early career teachers to the United States. So uh, by saying early career teachers is those teachers with no more than seven years of teaching experience. Uh, and the US government uh, really pays careful attention to this eligibility criteria requirement. So um, as you see here on the photo, um, our, uh, one of our participants, Mirza Sharif, is presenting during one of the cultural uh, festivals, uh, talking about Tajikistan and sharing about our culture. So by uh, saying that Fulbright foreign language teaching assistant brings early career teachers who are uh, who are have experience teaching Tajik language to the uh, to the foreigners and not only teaching Tajik language but also sharing uh, our culture customs and tradition so this program is fully funded by the educational and cultural affairs bureau of the u.s department of state um, what is the flta program uh, so as, we as I already uh, talked about it, uh, provides young teachers of English as a foreign language, in our case, Tajik language, not the Russian language. So dear participants, uh, when you apply and uh, to the FLTA program, please do not select Russian language as your primary uh, preferred language for teaching, uh, since uh, otherwise you will be unfortunately disqualified. And uh, so one of the goals of this program is to equip our teachers with modern teaching techniques, with uh, updated teaching uh, techniques and uh, methodologies, and also at the same time, uh, teach our Tajik participants uh, with American culture and customs. So, here you can see uh, Manisha on the photo with her beautiful dress, and and we all, we can also see an American colleague and an American teacher, her peer teacher, uh, trying Tajik, Tajik traditional dress. So it means uh, Manisha learned about the U.S. culture, and the other teacher learned about Tajik culture. So it's. It's all about exchanging experience, exchanging our culture. So yeah, and uh, all the interested teachers must have a bachelor's degree equivalent to the US bachelor's degree, which means uh, our dear teachers should have a pedagogical degree. And this program is only limited to Tajik citizens. Uh, with no more than seven years of teaching experience. Um, okay, so uh, I will let our um, participants talk about this program is um, for nine months, which means you get an opportunity to spend in the US uh, is, uh, educational institution for, um, during one academic year and uh, be able to improve your language abilities and, and teach our language to Americans. So all the FLTAs are uh, J1 holders and FLTA unfortunately does not let our participants uh, to be accompanied by their family members, by their children. So when you apply to this program, please, uh, note that uh, unfortunately we do or the program does not have that opportunity and does not cover your uh, family dependents uh, expenses and does not let them accompany you at all. So um, and uh, you need to also uh, take two semesters, uh, uh, two courses per semester, at least one course required course by the by your host institution um, during one quarter so uh, let me reiterate once again uh, this program is for seven is for those teachers with less than seven years of ex uh, teaching experience equal or less uh, for Tajik citizens only uh, those teachers should be uh, proficient in English 
uh, program will require minimum scores of IBT, which is uh, 79 to 80. Paper-based TOEFL is 550, and IELTS is six. Uh, for more program, for more uh, questions or program details, please visit U.S. Embassy's website tj.usembassy.gov or email to us with any questions that you have. Thank you. Over to uh, uh, English Laboratory team. Thank you so much, Fitora. Uh, and of course, like uh, today, we wanted to give the floor uh, to our Fulbright FLT finalists uh, to share their experience. And uh, now uh, we welcome our uh, speakers to share their experience. And, and my first question would be, uh, could you please briefly tell about your American experience and uh, share about the benefits of the Fulbright FLT program uh, in your personal and professional development. So we will start, Manisha, maybe you will start and then Malika and Mirza Sharif will continue. Thank you, please unmute yourself and start. Thank you. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Hello, uh, this is Manisha. Uh, I am an alumni of Fulbright FLTA at the University of Georgia. I was an FLTA last year at the University of Georgia where uh, Mr. Mirzo Sharif is currently an FLTA. So um, FLTA is an amazing program and uh, we can talk like for hours. If you give me time, I can talk for hours, but unfortunately most of my time is very limited. So I would say like um, as an FLTA, you will be teaching, as Ms. Setora mentioned, you will be teaching your language and at the same time you will be sharing your um, culture, in our case, our Tajik culture. And uh, like uh, I want to say, I want to mention that Fulbright FLTA is uh, not only like sharing about Tajik culture, but at the same time, like learning about American culture as well. And I have learned, observed a lot during my nine months in the United States. I have observed some differences, some similarities between Tajik and American culture. And uh, I would say one of the similarities between um, American and uh, uh, Tajik culture is that Americans are also very hospitable, like Tajik people. Uh, but uh, they like I define the hospitality is different in is uh, different in uh, like uh, American culture. For example, if you go to any American family, they will give you freedom and space where you feel like you're home. Okay, and uh, one uh, difference about uh, American culture is that like Americans uh, have a huge value of independence and equality, like uh, independence for young people, independence for adults, independence everywhere. And um, uh, I can bring you an example, like a friend of mine uh, invited me uh, over to her mom's house where uh, she had dinner for us. And uh, like her mom was like 80 years old. Uh, uh, like it, it, she was, I think, in her late 80s. And uh, her vision was very, um, uh, like she had problem with her vision. And after the dinner, we like, I wanted to help her like uh, to do the dishes in the kitchen, but she got offended. Uh, she did not tell me anything directly but uh, she like indirectly let me know that she can do the things herself then after I asked my friend like why your mom like did this she didn't want me to help her she said you know what it's the sense of independent they don't want to be dependent on others where it's not the same case in our culture like uh, when we get older we want like uh, we expect uh, younger people to respect us, you know, and uh, yeah, it was some different like uh, um, cultural value between Tajik and America, and uh, like uh, as you said, like uh, share one of your um, best experiences in the United States, and uh, I would say like sharing my culture was one of my best experiences in the United States. 
Could you please, uh, Ms. Uh, Zuhro, share my presentation? I really want to uh, share some pictures that would be, I think, interesting for the audience. Ms. Zuhro? I'm sorry, just give me one sec and I just want to share some pictures. I think uh, it will be more interesting if you see uh, what I did as a culture ambassador in the United States. Share the sharing culture, please, Ms. Zohra. Yeah, yes, uh, she's, yeah, she's. Uh, Thank you so much. I'm sorry, <laughs> I could not do it on my end. Uh, American, um, sharing American culture, not wedding, please. I'll talk about wedding as well. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was okay. like I hosted a dinner for a group of people who did not like anything about Tajik culture. So I hosted an authentic dinner for Americans where I talked about our hospitality, our poetry, our customs, our traditions, some facts about Tajikistan. And uh, I actually also demonstrated some uh, is it a problem to share my folder? Do you want yeah. me to try it from no, no, no. my? Uh, yeah, now it's working. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, I tried to be. I tried to give them a sense that they are in Tajikistan, and here, as you see in the picture, I demonstrated and showed them like uh, in Tajik hospitality before the guests help themselves to the meal, we need to wash the, your hands. Can you turn the, can you uh, scroll the pictures, please? Like here, I wash the, your hands and you see like off the bar, I think I don't, I couldn't find a translation for this word. Can you scroll the pictures? Oh, here, as you see, uh, okay, I made two uh, courses of meal. I made damlama and Damlama and Shurbo. And here, can you play this? I think, oh, this is a Dastarkhan I made. As you see, we have cherry. I showed them that, uh, oh, sorry. And here, as you see, like I made some salad. I uh, found chaka. They actually do not have, but I used sour cream, which was kind of similar to ch our chaka. And uh, yeah, all the dry fruit. Can you play the um, video, please? I'm sorry. Oh, technology does it. Oh, here, as you see, I think it's muted. This one doesn't have sound, I think. Oh, that's okay. So as you see in this short, in this short video, I demonstrated how, like how Tajik dance and music look like. And I also, um, can you go to the other? Sorry, this is a, this is a Dastarkhan I made. Uh, yeah, and also I showed them how like bread is very important in our culture. And I demonstrated like how we break the non before serving the guests. And also uh, one of other best experiences in the United States was uh, uh, participating in American wedding. Can you share my, uh, um, please my, can you share the other? So here in this picture, as you see, I show them how I made the bread and show them like, sorry, it's. This is the reason why I shared this videos is like for those who are um, selected for Fulbright FLTA, it will give them an idea how to share their cultures. And also I had an experience uh, like uh, uh, participating in American wedding, which was like the best experience. Can you share the video, please? Some, I have some uh, visuals for you guys. 
sorry. So this is American wedding. One of my friends who was from Texas invited me to her wedding and I was included in all the American uh, weddings ritual and all the customs, okay? Uh, it's actually, I can talk a lot, but my time is limited. So uh, uh, in this wedding, I uh, showed them uh, that for 300 people in the wedding, I showed, I demonstrated uh, the Tajik dance and poetry and actually like about 20 or 30 people tried to dance our uh, traditional dance here. You can play it if you don't mind. Please. This is an American wedding where they are dancing Tajiki dance. They did a great job. So yeah, and uh, I'm sorry, it's, I think, do I have time to share more, Ms. Nasiba? Uh, so maybe one, because we also need to give the floor to others. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so your other question was like, uh, does the uh, Fulbright FLTA will have an uh, impact on your professional and uh, personal development, right? Of course, yes it will have a huge impact on your professional and personal development. Like in my case, after like uh, uh, completing my program, it's like now I found the best version of mine. Now I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses. Now I know like uh, uh, where I am great and where I am weak and where I need to work, where I, I need to kind of uh, uh, yeah, like develop myself. And also, like, uh, in my case, one of the best experiences and, uh, like, personal uh, uh, yeah, impact from Fulbright FLTA was I am a mom of nine uh, years old daughter. I think I am... Um, a life model for my daughter. Uh, I remember while I was in the United States, uh, she called me one day and I said, mommy, like how much should I learn to be eligible for Fulbright? I'm like, what? Why are you asking that? She's like, because I want to apply to this program and I want to go to the United States. I said, oh my gosh, like I am already successful. You know, I did something and I impact. And yes, uh, it will have impact on your professional development as well. Uh, for example, uh, like you will have a lot of job opportunities. People want, people will be, like uh, believe in your action, in your word, in everything. And yes, like you will, having this experience in your CV will polish the, your CV completely. So my answer would be yes. Yeah, sorry, I took your time. Okay. I think it was okay. more than three minutes. That's fine. All right. So, uh, so Zuro, if we have some time, we can also show some of visuals uh, of Manisha. That would be the best. Thank you so much, Ms. Nasiba. I think it will be interesting for audience to see what I did as an FLTA. Yes. Uh, of course, your mentorship uh, will be best uh, way to do that and also just you know we invite potential applicants to connect yeah, us it would be and my joy so as you see here i met shurbo it was for the first course and they enjoyed it actually that was the best shurbo i have ever made <laughs> it turned out so well and that they loved it and can you scroll the pictures please and this is my american friend who is wearing the tajiki dress you see and uh, yes, uh, here, as I told you, I showed them how we wash like guests' uh, hands before they help themselves to the meal. And can you, Zuhra, please, I'm sorry, can you? This is a dastarhon what I made. So I tried to find everything possible to show them how the uh, Tajik uh, hospitality look like. I made samosas. And here you see, I have cherries. I showed them that uh, uh, we have so many different fruits. And here I showed them uh, that demonstrated um, like uh, the, um, the value of non in our culture. And I had a video, but I'm sorry, I uh, was I thought like I will not have time to uh, share it. I also showed them like we have the tea culture 
compared to Americans. Like Americans have coffee culture, but we have the tea culture. And I demonstrated how we serve tea. Okay, that was very interesting for uh, the people who were in my dinner, Tajik dinner. Yeah, thank you so much, Ms. Nasiba. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, we wish to have more time to show all the visuals uh, of our speakers today. But again, let, let's give the floor to others. Thanks, Manisha. And uh, dear uh, speakers, if you can uh, see in the chat box, our audience, they are started asking questions. So we will give the floor to questions and answers by the end of our webinar today. And now uh, I'm giving the floor to Malika Rajabla. Malika, please uh, share your experience. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, I'm Malika and I'm serving as an FLTA at the University of Kansas. And being a FLTA over here at my university has given me lots of uh, advantages because the university is um, full of opportunity for researchers and the, profession, the professors are really professional in their fields. So I'm really happy and lucky to be included in their, um, in their role. And so I'm taking also courses related uh, to language teaching methodology and I hope I will use all the experience and knowledge gained over here back at home and share uh, my experience with the other teachers to enhance their students productivity and uh, also learn something for themselves and now let me uh, try to show our university um, let me see Uh, mm, yes. Yeah. Now, now we can see. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So this is uh, University of Kansas, and I'm serving here as an FLTA, and sharing a lot of culture and traditions about Tajikistan over here with American students. And this is one of uh, my presentations, and I'm talking about uh, festivals in Tajikistan, and particularly about uh, festival of Oshipala, where um, 3,000 kilo of Oshipala is cooked and given away to, to the people. And over here, I'm talking about culture and customs in Tajikistan to the students, and they were really interested and wanted to know about our toki, as you can see. <laughs> so uh, I taught them about um, where you wear it and what occasions you need to wear this clothes. And so this is uh, Oshipala, which I cooked for uh, another event called Taste of Asia, and the students enjoyed it. So, so this is a uh, Navruz holiday. So we hosted Navruz holiday recently, um, where I uh, gave presentation, talked about uh, the way we celebrate Nauru's in Tajikistan and uh, shared my table, Hafshin table, which I was moderating over here. And the students um, were really exposed to our culture and they learned a lot about Tajikistan. And that's really interesting that they didn't know that there is Hafshin, but not Hafshin. So I was the first person there to talk about Hafshin over there. So I was really uh, proud of myself over there. Oh, so this is half seen table uh, decorated by my colleague from Iran. So this is the way they, uh, they decorate this, the table. And also uh, I was given a chance to cook our traditional food order again. So I cooked my favorite food, Oshipala, and served it to the students. As you can see over here, here is the menu where you can read here, Tajik Palak. Can you see that? So all the food was from the uh, restaurants, but I cooked my own food and everybody enjoyed it. And the food was gone, first of all, you know, other food, so we're going slowly, but Oshi Pala was gone very fast. So, and this one is 
Okay, so we hosted this event yesterday, and this is International Jayhawk Festival, and I'm uh, helping the representative of Fulbright IIE over here at the university and talking about my experience and helping the students uh, to promote uh, their experience abroad. So, and th this picture was made during the media conference uh, in the, in DC. So if you have any interesting uh, ideas to promote, you will be given a chance to write a proposal and then present your presentation in Washington, D.C. and share your idea with your uh, colleagues, other FLTAs. So this was really unique opportunity for me because you'll get your certificate by the end of the conference. So this is my certificate. I was really proud of that. So so the next one, the next one is you will have a opportunity to go to conferences. So this one. <laughs> so I chose a TESOL conference, which was held in Oregon. And I think this is a dream of every teacher to go there. I mean, like teacher of uh, English language, because you will be exposed to so many greatly organized presentation over there. You will learn a lot from your uh, colleagues. And if you have your own idea, you can also share and uh, teach them to something new. So here I'm with my with our flag with my flag. <laughs> I'm used to say that. So this is um, Massachusetts Street, uh, which is the oldest part of um, Lawrence, the city where currently I'm working, serving as an FLTA. I like this part of the city for. Uh, one really big reason this city is old, I mean like ancient, and it's about 200 years. And these buildings were built about 200 years ago, and they have been staying over here, you see? Here. And if you are interested in Westerns, you will be able to see some of these buildings. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, do I have enough time, or is it then? Oh, yeah, it's okay. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Um, as Manisha said, uh, you will be here, representative of your of our country, and you will be the only person to talk about our culture. So please, um, whenever you are given a chance to uh, give presentations and talk about our culture, um say yes and share as much information as possible. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, uh, can can we share my video where I was um, playing music and the people were dancing at Navarro's on Navarro's holiday? There, yeah. Yeah, done, done. Thank you very much. So this is how I entertained the guests on Navru's holiday with Tajik song. And I was thrilled. I was, uh, I had goosebumps all over my body when they started Tajik dance, you know. So it was really good experience. Yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you so much. We are so excited to see uh, Manisha's and yours experience. That's very great. And yeah, please keep tracking the questions because like as people are watching uh, your presentations, they are putting their questions in the chat box and then we'll uh, give the time out for questions and answers. And now uh, Mirzo Sharif, please uh, step in. Now, uh, please kindly share your experience, your American experience as Fulbright FLTA and as well as share uh, your professional development uh, uh, impact as well uh, you had through this program. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Apenasiba. And I'm sending a warm good morning from Athens, Georgia, USA, University of Georgia. It's morning right now here. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Manija and Apesitora and EVB for organizing such kind of uh, webinar about the Fulbright because uh, I've been applying for this program for three years and three times. I remember my first time struggling uh, to find out information about those people who uh, who visited the United States by this program. I really struggled. I even uh, texted them on Facebook. I found them. Uh, I, I tried to find the foreigners to get more information about that. But now you made everything easy for, for, the, for those who are interested to apply. Thank you very much for this. Uh, and uh, I agree with Apem Alika and Apem Anija that uh, the Fulbright is, uh, like, it plays a, a, a big role uh, in your future career in a personal and, and professional experience uh, and development. Uh, so uh, let me just show you my screen. Uh, okay. So... Uh, as I, as I told you that I have applied for this uh, three times and a third time I, I got I got this opp opportunity and I'm right now I'm here in, uh, in Athens, Georgia. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I yeah. Think someone now is... we can okay, see. Okay, yeah. Before we, okay, we saw the just... email, now we see you. Oh, okay. sorry, yeah. <laughs> so, so why I, I wrote here at Dreams Come True because uh, as I told you that I applied like several times and during the school time, I even tried to apply for flex and during the, my, my, my virtual time, I applied for uh, the, the UGRAD, but now uh, so I'm here finally. So uh, this is information for those who, who, who fell for the first time, please never give up, please keep applying for this program and you'll definitely get, get opportunity and you come here and definitely share the culture. And I agree with, the, with, with what Apem Malika and Manisha said, where when you come here and you become a cultural ambassador and you should, you should make a, a lot of cultural things to share uh, the culture of Tajikistan, the language, and it, et cetera. Uh, well, <clears throat> the, the University of Georgia is, uh, it's, a, it's a really a big university uh, and it, it has a lot of cam campuses. And what, what I really like here is, I mean, an education system of the United States is that they, they, the students are like free uh, and they, they, the, the professors are also free. So well, when you have classes, no one bothers you. No one comes to your class. No one checks you. It's, it's totally free. You can even take your student and go outside and like have your class outside in, in the nature. And this is what I really like. Uh, and the second reason is that uh, I think Apasitora mentioned that we we have to we have to take two uh, like audit classes here, uh, but one of them should be like history. And I take the history of America right now, and and I see how the professor does the lecture, like how how it, it gets the uh, the uh, the attention of the students. Uh, and I really like this this method, and uh, and I I'm planning to definitely I have to, and I'm planning to get all of this message and back home, and I'll share it to all of the uh, my colleagues and others who are really uh, in in need of this. So uh, okay, as as I mentioned that you have to uh, share the culture, and uh, when you come to university. Any universities that in, in the in the United States. Uh, so the first semester you will be given a cultural table. So why you have to do this? Because you will share uh, the culture and you will recruit the students. This is this is as you can see in this picture. This this is like an entertainment student center where the students come and study, and they, they even have like a private rooms and they go inside of this. So we had we had. For one week, we had cultural table of uh, all of the FLTS. Like as you can see, there is Uzbekistan and Pakistan, and there there was Morocco too. And we gave a culture, and the students uh, came and asked questions, and we directed them how to apply uh, for for these courses and how how to register for these courses. Uh, so, and uh, for the first semester, I had a cultural presentation, as you can see 
here, uh, and this was in one of the our professors uh, from our department, and he asked us to give a presentation to his students, and all of us gave presentation about Tajikistan. This was the first semester. Uh, I remember my time uh, when I when I was in visa, the interview for visa at the the consular and the U.S. embassy, and the the consular saw that I'm going to Georgia, and and he said that okay, you have to you have to do you know anything about American football? I said yeah, I know, but uh, I don't follow it because I I'm into soccer. I I love soccer, and he said okay, so when you go find someone because. In October, there's gonna be a game uh, that Georgia will play with Florida. So we definitely go and watch this. And I said, okay. And I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know that I will be uh, I will be placed near the 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 stadium where the, all of these games uh, like held in uh, in Georgia. Like it's five minutes to walk to this Sanford Stadium. Uh, my my knows this, and I was lucky to take part uh, in a game. Uh, so if you if you are if you're not interested, uh, I uh, I'm sure that when you come here and when you see the people, you'll definitely start loving this 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 football. This is only the college American football where I was lucky to take part in it. So the Americans really love this football. So before coming, maybe you you can just study a little bit about American football. Uh, well, it will help you to talk uh, to others about this. Uh, and Apai, uh, Malika, you talked about full, uh, Fulbright Mid-Year Conference. I'm sorry, Apai Manija, that uh, last year, because of the COVID restrictions, you could not take part. But we were lucky. Uh, we were taken to D.C. We, we spent there four days. There were, again, culture, uh, co uh, like cultural presentations, uh, professional presentations by uh, the other uh, FLTAs. Uh, and by the by the professors from the from the other uh, universities, they they gave us presentations, and we got a lot of uh, methods information, uh, and we were lucky to meet the other uh, the other FLTS from all over the world. Uh, we spent there four four days, and I I will cover everything for you. Uh, so. Yeah, here, as you can see, presenting Tajikistan. And this is my second cultural presentation, which was at the beginning of Ramadan. Uh, and it was at 6.30 here. Uh, and I was talking about wedding traditions and ceremonies. And I played some, some musics uh, and, I, and I cooked pilaf. Uh, and you know that I, 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 plow, I, I cooked uh, uh, Oshiak Dayak, you know. Uh, and it was it was really good. Uh, so we all of us uh, had iftar at that time. Uh, there was the first iftar, and we had iftar, and all of the people liked my pilaf. Um, uh, I was so happy for that. And there also was sambusas. Uh, the other FLTS really helped me with it, with. Okay, so so what what else I would like to talk about. My first first time that I came to the United States, because uh, I live in in the campus, it, it takes me twelve like 10, 10 minutes to walk to to the department, and every time I walk, uh, I walk with the students uh, to the department. And what I really like is that when you are like crossing the street and we you when you face someone and you just suddenly look at them. They even they don't don't know you and they start smiling and start saying hi. This is this is what I really like uh, about uh, American culture here uh, uh, in Athens and Georgia, because they don't know you but they start. Even if your if your day is bad, you see the smile and your day will be perfect. This is what I really like and I'm 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 really uh, planning to get uh, and I'll definitely do that when I see people and they start smiling even though I don't know them because it really makes you happy. Uh, so uh, I think um, in Georgia, if you come to Georgia, you'll be like a, you become a tragic prof uh, professor. You'll, you'll teach in a classes, uh, all of the equipments, 
uh, and you will be introduced with the with the system. As I worked at the you know, University of uh, Russian Tajik Slavic University, and I know the the system, the elect the electronic system, how it works there. But when I came here, it's it's totally different. The professors with one click, the professors will like rate all of the students, and all of the exams can be uh, through that website that the, the UGA created. Uh, and I really like this uh, technology and I, and I hope that this, this kind of like higher technologies will be used in our education system. Uh, okay. I think uh, you said the, the questions will be later. I think that mm -hmm. that's, that's it. And you, you yep. can, I think you, you saw the poster of, uh, of my student and you can see this is my student and this semester I only have one student and he's he's really doing great and he started taking the class last semester and he, he I think you saw he is speaking in Tajiki and reciting uh, from like a uh, the poem from yeah. Zoda. And yes, he's, he's, yeah. he's doing he's he's doing really a good job yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, there was a promo video about uh, Fulbright FLT yes. on, on several pages of US Embassy, English Zaburas, and some more. So our audience can watch it from our Facebook page as well. Yeah. So that Definitely. was really Please. great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. One more thing. Thank can you. I can I add yeah. one more thing? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. You. Uh, you know that the, the Fulbright has uh, the USA Ful Fulbright. They have uh, four four Americans that can visit the other countries. Uh, and I got an email from my supervisor, IIE, that uh, UGA has a coordinator of the Fulbrighter here, and we were introduced to them, and we are going to have a presentation about the Fulbright uh, as a, like a Fulbrighter from Tajikistan. We will recruit them to, to, come, to, to come to our countries, uh, and I hope that uh, there, there will be some someone from 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 UGA from University of Georgia, and we'll be talking about the uh, the Fulbright and yeah. And every time I talk to my students, okay, you have to apply for this because you start speaking Tajiki, you have to apply for this. You have to go and visit, <laughs> and I hope you will come someday. Thank you very awesome. much. All right, thank you so much, Mirza Sharif. Okay, that's great. And of course, like, you know, again, in the chat box, uh, if you want dear speakers, you can respond to the questions of our audience, because like, you know, the questions are coming not only from uh, Zoom participants, but also from Facebook participants as well. And uh, of course, like, you know, some of the questions I'm tracking, they are similar to each other, but somehow, yeah, well, uh, if you want to, you can respond other, uh, and also some of them we will, will be able to vocalize later during the question and answer session. So, okay. So my next question, and, and we know like, you know, all this experience is amazing, which you are sharing. Experiences are great and inspiring. So, and of course, like, you know, uh, since you went through the selection process, you became the finalist, yeah? So maybe it would be good if you share some do's and don'ts uh, you know, when you apply for this program, yes, the potential applicants, what they should do and what they shouldn't do during the <clears throat> uh, selection process. Maybe just briefly a couple of tips uh, from you, Manisha, then Malika will share and also Mirzo Sharif. Please go ahead. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Nasiba. So my first do would be, uh, I'm going to share only a couple because I know we don't have much time left. So my first do will be, would be um, do what the program is designed to do. Uh, you will get the full benefit. I promise you like 200%. That is work hard and uh, that includes like representing your culture and at the same time, like learning about uh, American culture as well. It's for those who are already selected for this program. And I would love to share one don'ts because I want to leave some time for others as well. And uh, my one don't would be, don't wait until the last moment to apply for this program. Okay, that would be too late. Give yourself, give your yourself at least like two to three months because your the essays you would be writing will take some time. They are very time consuming 
um, essays. You need to check them with others. You need to get feedback. You need to polish them. You need to kind of modify them. You need to see them from others' perspective if you want to be successful for this program. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Malika, please kindly share what do's and don'ts you have for our audience. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, my do's for the ladies would be to take uh, lots of traditional clothes because you will not have this opportunity over here to buy or to make those dresses. So if you bring lots of them, then you will have them for different events. And every time you will surprise the guests. And you also will represent a part of our culture. And for, a, for the courses, so when you are here, you will be given a chance to audit two courses. Please take advantage of them and um, learn as hard as possible because they offer really great uh, courses related to uh, language teaching. And don'ts, if you are coming to Kansas, uh, it will be really cold over here. Please take a uh, nice winter clothes. If you are too slim, you will not be able to find your size. So please take your jacket. All right. Thank you, Malika. And Mirza Sharif, please kindly share your do's uh, and don'ts. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so the do's is about the essay. Uh, I want you to, to review your essay several times time and and like let the others see your see uh, your essays and please mention uh and if i'm not mistaken there is like a cultural thing that you have to write how you're gonna share the culture please write briefly clear everything and about the teaching the methods tajik teaching methods and how you're gonna do this please again if you yeah, please just write and make it perfect because the essays play the main role uh, in the uh, in this program. And don't never give up. If you failed first time, apply. Uh, I remember that as I mentioned, I applied three times. And Apai Sitora, if you remember, uh, I I actually came late. I I came like in September, but the the, the others they came uh, in August. But I thought that uh, I wasn't accepted that third time. And I, I, I just, I, I thought, okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, and I even called up Paisi Tora and um, she said that because there was a, there was like a new, new, like a new year, like the, the application process started for the new year. And I, I asked Paisi Tora, so what should I do? Should I apply for this or no? And she said, okay, yeah, please apply for the, for the next year. And I even applied for the next year and uh, a few weeks later. And then I, I found out that uh, even the, I think Apai Shiro didn't get any emails because you know that you, you have got a platform for the application and you, you see all of the, the, the status of it. And every time I check this and I, and I, I, I checked the last time and I saw that, oh, there's, there's like, there's, there are pop-ups at university. If you are selected, you'll definitely see it. Uh, and then I saw that there is a University of Georgia and I was so happy and I called up Sitora. She was so happy too. Uh, and I applied for the for the next year and, and Paisitora said, okay, we're well, not going to like uh, uh, see your application because you're going to. Uh, yeah, please never, never give up. Keep, keep applying. And every, because I got like a lot of experience like year by year, I got the experience. Okay, I have to change this. I have to do this. And then luckily I'm here. That's what I suggest you to do. Yep, great. So great to hear your do's and don'ts. Okay, uh, Malika, you want to say something? Yeah, I want to add something. If it's okay, uh, it will be really um, important for the student, for the FLTAs coming over here. Um, if they, uh, okay, if you take pictures, authentic pictures uh, related to culture uh, of Tajikistan, please do that while you are there because when you are here, you'll be asking people back from your country and they will not have time to do that. So if you have those materials over here, that will be great to prepare your teaching materials and your presentations. And also please 
uh, record some authentic videos to show it to the uh, visitors of the uh, presentations or your students in the classrooms. And also you can record lots of audio how Tajiki is spoken back there in our country. That's it. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, as I, uh, I'm sorry, as my presentation was about wedding traditions and I had some, 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 some videos where I was dancing because the the American people they like when you are in inside of that picture on that video, and they were like, "Oh, look, he's dancing!" And uh, mm -hmm. please, that uh, if you go to some historical places, please do take a picture, like show yourself that you're visiting that place, or you can you can take a like a group picture of your family and you can talk about that. that this is my family, or while while teaching the topic family. You can say okay in Padari Manas or something like that. Uh, I think this is this is gonna be a good uh, thing if you do this. Thank you. Yeah, awesome, great. Thank you for sharing your yes, do's and don'ts. And uh, yeah, uh, Hamza and um, all of those who are watching this webinar, please be patient. We will open the floor to questions and answers a little bit later. So um, by now we received that um, many uh, applicants, potential applicants who apply for several times and they have lots of difficulties going through the interview process. And therefore we would like just to do kind of a mock interview uh, with our finalists, yeah. So, and uh, we really want uh, you to experience how uh, the interview process will go. It, it, it's not going to be exactly like that, but anyway, uh, you know, uh, when you are well prepared for that uh, and when you have all the tips uh, shared with, uh, you know, by others, it, uh, you will be, uh, you know, fully prepared for taking, uh, you know, for uh, being prepared for the interviews and also to take full advantage uh, of the advice and tips shared by uh, other Fulbrighters. Okay, thank you so much. So let's get started then. Okay, so um, once you get through the first stage, which is the application process. The second stage will be uh, in Fulbright FLT that you will uh, be invited for the interview. And uh, the first question that usually the, uh, you know, the potential candidates are asked, yeah, the first question uh, which will be asked to you, this is tell us about yourself and why do you think you are the best candidate for this program? And Manisha, let's do mock interview with you. <laughs> Okay, let's start with you. So, okay, Manisha, oh, just imagine that you just, are a successful candidate. Now you are at the interview and I'm the interviewer and you are the potential, yes, probably okay. the successful candidate. So try to impress and try just, you know, to get prepared for the interview. And my first question uh, will be to you. So uh, tell us about yourself and why do you think you are the best candidate for this program? Okay, uh, can you give me one minute to think, please? You can respond once you are ready. Okay, thank you so much. I think I'm ready. Yes, please. So, well, uh, I think um, this program is not only about teaching uh, the Tajiki language. It's also about being a, bri a bridge to American people. And eventually by the end of the program, you will be uh, a bridge between American and Tajik culture back in your country, right? Like you will be representing American culture when you are back to your country. And uh, I am like, there will be so many challenges, so many, um, cultural shocks, and I am the one who is very easygoing, sociable, and uh, I am the person who does not afraid of challenges. Uh, instead, I enjoy to have challenges in my life. If I don't have challenge, my life will become like kind of boring. I need to add something every day, all the time. And uh, yeah, and uh, I am uh, like, I have experience of teaching Tajiki to foreigners, like about three years, I had an experience teaching Tajiki to foreigners. 
And uh, also I want to mention that being a native speaker to your language does not mean that you will be successful in teaching it. So me having an experience of teaching Tajiki to foreigners, I think would make me the best candidate. All right, thank you so much. And the next probable question during the interview would be, uh, so Malika, if you are ready, I can ask this question to you. <laughs> uh, All right. Go ahead, please. So uh, <clears throat> apart from studying at the US University during the Fulbright program, the finalists will teach their native language at the US University. Do you prefer teaching Russian over teaching Tajiki during the program? Mm, good question. Um, I think uh, I would prefer to, to teach Tajik over here because uh, we are representatives of Tajikistan and we should be able to talk about Tajik language, Tajik culture, and share it with American students and promote our culture. But for Russian language, uh, there are other FLTAs, I think. Um, they can represent their culture and language at other universities. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Thank you that you are choosing Tajiki because you are Tajik citizen and you will be representing Tajik culture. Yeah, that's good. Thank you so much. And uh, next question, probable question that you will be asked during the interview process. Amir Zosharif, if you don't mind, I'll ask to you. Yes, so, please. Um, do you feel flexible to share the room with other people in the dormitory or apartment while in the United States? Thank you very much for the question. Uh, and the answer is, I do feel flexible. Uh, as you can see in my application, I graduated from the university in Dushanbe, but I am from another city. And during this four years, I, uh, I've been living with the roommates uh, and uh, we shared uh, the apartment and I have never had any problems, any issues uh, while living with them. And we, we were friendly. We even uh, met uh, like the same food. And we, we had a schedule that we, and every day someone will cook. And the second reason is that I got my master's in Moscow and I have been living there uh, in dormitory. And I, I live with the other uh, nationalities. For example, from like Russians, Kazakhstan, from Kazakhstan, but I have never had again any any issues with them, and I I, I lived with them friendly. Uh, and uh, if if you if if in case there there is any issue occurs during living with them, uh, and I'm I'm sure that uh, I have my supervisor who will definitely help me, and uh, I'll easily can move on to. To another place but i will not have any problems and i don't i don't feel any any problems with living with others and sharing the room or dormitory with other people this is in america if you live with the others it's uh you, you will just leave it uh leave and get cultural thing with the other people thank you very much Yep, uh, thank you so much. Okay, so dear audience, this is just, you know, we shared with you this mock interview. The question during the interview process will be something similar to that. So you already know how to get prepared to these questions. Okay, and if you have any questions, uh, by now you can just put them in the chat box. And now we are reaching the most interesting part of our webinar. We are opening the floor to question and answers. And let's start the question and answers marathon. Yeah, okay. So uh, we have a number of questions here. So uh, Abdraim Boudoub is asking, Mr. Sharif, it's just, I think, like, you know, to you, the question, do you have any study plans? What is your next next phase? Would you like to study at any United States universities? Please go ahead. Okay. You. Yeah, you can, you can see these uh, questions in the chat box as well. Uh, uh, well, the, my plan is, uh, and my, my ticket is booked already. My plan is go back home, uh, and I'll definitely uh, will have the presentations and webinars, uh, and I'll show all of the all of the knowledge to others to other people. 
uh, as you have got the J1 visa and you have to you have to leave the the states and but you you can apply for like you have to be in Tajikistan but you have you can apply for for Fulbright uh, for for the masters or for PhD uh, so yeah maybe I have a plan to do PhD but I'm not hundred percent sure yet uh, because I really like the education system here. And maybe I'll, I'll I'll come back to to UGA, but I'm not sure about that yet. Was it was it the answer question? I yeah yeah okay yeah okay. thank you, Mirza Sharif. And next question goes to Malika uh, Abdurrahim is uh, asking Malika, did you take any commitment in community services like volunteering in any public organization or at the university? Mm, yeah, I have done lots of them basically at the university and. I participate there as often as possible and try to promote Tajik language and culture. And example was already shown in my presentation. As you can see, I helped the representative of IIE over there. And also uh, we have outreach where we promote language and get the students to our department. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Malika. And uh, next question goes to Manisha. Uh, again, I think Abdurrahim is a potential candidate. So he's just, you know, picking all the information. <laughs> Good job, Abdurrahim. Manisha, the question to you. Did you prepare the Tajik language course yourself or use any already made syllabus? Uh, in my case, uh, I was not the first FLTA who taught Tajiki at my head host institution. So I feel like they had like seven or eight FLTAs that uh, were teaching Tajiki uh, uh, before I was selected. So they had the uh, coursework ready for Tajiki language. But uh, what I would say in my case, I uh, had like three years of experience teaching, teaching Tajiki to foreigners. So I kind of had my own ag agenda, but I uh, followed their coursework uh, using my own methodology. Okay. Did I answer your question? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, just, just to add one more, so the, the teachers in the United States, they are not limited with one textbook, but it's up to them, yeah, to add some supplemental materials to make effective the classroom and to make, you know, the full uh, engagement during the class uh, uh, in order for the students to absorb as much as possible the language and cultural parts of the, uh, you know, of the language. Okay, uh, so yeah, you have you are free to choose supplemental materials as well. Okay, thank you. And uh, we also have uh, the question from Parvina Mirzoeva, who is asking, I've studied a South S course about six months. Can I choose my tutor as a referee, as a recommender? So uh, if anybody can answer from other finalists. So far, I know that. Yeah. I'm a self as to yeah you definitely can 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 choose choose any of them because during the six months they 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 learned a lot about you and I think that's good if you if you mention if you mention them and they also will talk about the self as which will be a reminder for the program too I think this is a good yeah Okay, thank you, Mirzo Sharif. Uh, so, Parvina Mirzova is asking, uh, right now I'm on maternity leave. Am I eligible to apply for this scholarship? Number one. So, and number two, I started the application, but the system didn't send the confirmation number for the further activity with, uh, was, uh, what is the reason that such things happened? So, uh, if anybody can answer this question. That would be great. Parvina Mirzoeva is asking that. Uh, they have uh, they have the 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 email of the technology like support technology. You can you can email them, but it it will take time. But the only thing that I suggest you maybe you did something wrong. I don't know. The only thing is to to email them, and they'll definitely uh, email you back. And I'll tell you what is the problem. Uh, 
I think you being on maternity leave does not affect on applying for this program as long as you have someone to look after your like children, okay? Because this program is for like, uh, you cannot take any of the members of your family, even your husband, like it's not a dependent program. So you need to take it in mind. I, in my case, I made a big sacrifice because I am a mom of nine years old daughter. So I left her for one year. Can you imagine? It was not easy. It was a big challenge, but I never, ever regret. So I think I made the best choice for me and for her because now I am life model for my daughter. So yeah, you can definitely apply if uh, you have someone to look after your children. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Manisha. Thank you, Mirza Sharif. And I think Hamza, Hamza was raising his uh, hand during the webinar. So we asked him to be patient and wait till the end of the webinar. Hamza, if you're still with us, please, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Are you here with us? Okay, if you are watching from Facebook or uh, if you are here with us, please go ahead and ask your question. Okay. So, yeah, please, dear audience, the last uh, questions you can ask. Uh, and. Uh, yeah. Sorry, can I answer to Apai Sitora's question about uh, the strate strategies to promote Tajik language classes while in the program? Yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. I, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I meant, I, I put it on uh, the, you, when you come here, I show them a presentation uh, and the first semester at the beginning, you'll have a cultural table. And this is like recruiting the students uh, to come and to take your class. Uh, and you'll be talking about Tajik language. And uh, if you go to the department where where we work, I work in Apai Manija, you, you know that they have uh, like, like good poster and uh, you, you have to let them know that it's uh, it's similar if you know Tajik language. So you can you can understand Farsi, Dari and others. This way you can recruit them because uh, a, a UGA doesn't have the Parsi class, so that's why you have to let them know that this is similar and part of this. Uh, and by the, the beginning of the first semester, uh, during one week, this is the period where the students will be busy for selecting the classes, uh, and you will be given uh, the cultural table. And the second semester, and you'll do the same for one week. All right, I think okay. I that question. So thank you so much once again. Uh, so dear audience, thank you for your active participation and asking questions. Uh, and of course, like big, huge thank you to our speakers today, to Sitora Kasimova, Manisha Daulatva, Malika Rajabova, and Mr. Sharif Sharipov. So uh, just, uh, yeah, uh, so this webinar was uh, organized in order to help the potential candidates to get uh, the first hand information from uh, both the U.S. Embassy and also from other speakers who are right now uh, in Tajikistan and the, in, the, in the United States. So anyway, uh, our audience are ready. Uh, I mean, our audience are ready to ask their questions. And I believe that Manisha, Malika, and Mirza Sharif, uh, you will be available for mentoring them. And also, yes, uh, and also just, uh, yeah, helping hand, uh, helping uh, them uh, to apply to this program. And uh, so by now, uh, already one month left uh, till the deadline. Please take your time, dear all. Uh, don't leave till the last moment. Uh, start uh, going and applying it online because all the application system is online. Uh, you can find all the information on the US on the page. Mm -hmm. And also, if you want to have some in-person mentorship, you can write it in the chat box and we can invite Manisha Daulatova uh, to our office at American Space Dushanbe and have some mentoring session. Yeah, for you, please don't, uh, yeah, uh, don't uh, just, you know, skip this opportunity. And if you want that, please write in the chat box. We can organize it and you will uh, have enough time uh, to get prepared uh, for this program. And maybe you will be the next successful, yeah, 
uh, finalists of this program. Who knows? Dreams tend to come true if you really strive yeah. Uh, yeah, towards your dreams. So, okay. Once again, huge thank you, dear audience and dear speakers. Manisha, you want to say something? Go ahead. Yes, I want to add something. So for those who are already selected or who are kind of thinking to go into this process, apply for this program, I created a YouTube channel where I share all my FLTA experience, first-hand Fulbright FLTA experience. And I'm also trying to... Uh, interview uh, Fulbright FLTAs from all over the world. For now, I have like two, but I will have like more this coming month. I think this month will be like, I will have two or three of them. So please, if you are interested, you, keep, you can keep your eye on on my YouTube channel. You can share it. Like you can reach out to me. Uh, I can leave my email and everything. I would be like very happy to help those who are interested in this program. Yeah, thank you so much, Ms. Nasiba. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Malika and Mirza Sharif, if you want to add some last words, yeah, you can jump in. Yeah, uh, first of all, thank you for the webinar and for coming and watching us. And as Magisha said, so we are um, always open for information. So if you are interested, so feel free. You have my page order on Facebook. So you can yeah, email me or just ask on Facebook. I'm always ready to share my experience. And also soon I'm coming back. So we will have more, ex more opportunity to share uh, whatever I have learned over here. Thank you. And Mirza Sharif, yeah. Thank you very much for this uh, opportunity to share the experience. And I am also uh, uh, free. And anytime, please uh, leave a message. I'll do my best to answer. Um, yeah, that's it. Never give up. Yeah, thank you so yes. much. Never, ever give up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you so much. You will much. never regret. Yep, okay. Yeah, good. Good job, uh, dear all, dear participants, dear speakers, uh, and on, on behalf of uh, English with Arborist Network team, yeah, let me convey our deepest gratitude for your active participation and sharing your thoughts, your questions, and of course, just uh, sharing your insightful experience in the United States. And I'm, uh, as, as a Fulbright FLT, the first Fulbright FLT myself in Tajikistan, I would just go. Go for this program, go, because it's really a life transforming opportunity for you and uh, you will be able to transform yourself to the best version. And good luck to all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you.